like to cover the standing application of the unloading harness. So this harness would be used for situations where you're going to need to provide more body weight support for the patient. Um, it has adjustments both on the back of the harness and on the front of the harness so you can adjust to multiple sizes and also accommodate different body shapes. So we're just going to place the top portion just like a vest on the patient. There we go. Um, we want to adjust the length of the shoulder straps here to allow the waist belt to uh, be in the appropriate position. And what we're looking for here, so let's just turn to your side a little bit and hold your arm up right there. We're looking for this to be positioned so that this comes around under the angle of the ribs and the lower portion or portion of the belt is just over the top of the iliac crest, kind of between the iliac crest and the greater trochanter in this area so we get a good anchor on the pelvis. So let's go ahead and just kind of face this direction a little bit, perfect. And we're gonna go ahead and snap our front belt in, which has got two clips. We're going to get those snug. One of the key pieces or, or features or important elements of this particular harness is you want to tighten the front up so that these two front buckles here that are have the red press here on the uh, uh, buckles, you want those in front of or just at the ASIS. Um, so you want those a little bit in front of the patient, just like we see here. So this is a, this is a good position here. I'm going to tighten those up a little further. So you'd rather err on those being a little farther forward than too far back. So go ahead and turn around now. And once we've got that in place, we're going to go ahead and tighten up our back straps. So there's three back straps, and we're just going to go ahead and tighten those up. And sometimes it's easier if you just feed a little bit of webbing into the buckle. So as you're pulling one with the free end, you're kind of feeding forward with the end. That is um, attached. Okay, so let's go ahead and come back around. So good position there. I'm going to tighten up the shoulder straps just a little bit so they don't fall off. You tighten the shoulder straps by pulling down on the free end, the black webbing here. To loosen those, you just pull up on the red or orange webbing um, to to release that. It does have a shoulder pad that can be moved and adjusted to the patient for comfort, so it can slide forward or back a little bit, and it also is removable for washing. Um, now we're ready to apply the lower portion of the unloading harness. So the lower portion, the easiest way to do this in a standing position is to first of all find the two male ended uh, seatbelt buckles that are attached to the black webbing. So I just kind of hold them in this position and you'll see these kind of just hangs in place here. So go ahead and turn around for me. The two black buckles here with the black webbing are going to attach to the buckles here that have just the black um, uh, press area. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the height of these so that this piece of red webbing is adjusted just below, below the gluteal fold. So I'm going to go ahead and cinch that up a little bit. There we go. Go ahead and turn back around now. Now we're going to take, there's two longer pieces of a uh, thigh cuff that are kind of come down between the leg here and have these uh, female ends of these plastic buckles. We're going to bring those through the legs. And then we're going to take our male end here and clip it in and tighten. But it doesn't have to be real tight. Just take up the slack. Same thing on the left. Just take up the slack. And now we'll take our red buckles which are going to come up to the seatbelt buckles with the red press button. And now we'll snug those down firmly. Okay, and then maybe re-snug any other belts that have changed position or loosened up during that process. So I'll go ahead and turn back around. Let's show you the back, how it would look once everything is in place here with this red strap that's catching underneath the gluteal fold and comes around to the front to provide good support to the pelvic region.